For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the position of a particle along a straight line is given by S is equal to 1.5 T cubed minus 13.5 T squared plus 22.5 T. Where t is in seconds. Find the position of the particle when t is equal to 6 seconds and the total distance travels during this 6 second time interval. So, you know that the velocity is given by the derivative of this equation that we were just given with respect to time, which comes out to be 4.5 t squared minus 27 t plus 22.5. We need to find when does V equal to zero. So when does this equation equal to zero? So what I like to do is I like to factorize it, see if I, it can be done that way. Otherwise, we will have to use other methods, but this can be factorized because if you factor out 4.5, you get this is equal to T squared minus 6T plus 5 and you can further factorize this by getting t minus 5 and t minus 1. So this is 0, this is 0. So when does v equal to 0? This is 0, v is equal to 0 when t is equal to either 5 or t is equal to 1. So Find the position of the particle when t is equal to 6 seconds, we're going to do that soon enough, and then find the total distance traveled during this 6 second interval. So in this 6 second interval, we got s equal to 0 and s when t is equal to 6. But in the meantime, the particle stopped and turned directions at t is equal to 5 and t is equal to 1 because when the particle turns direction is when v is equal to 0. So we need to take that into account s at 1 and s at 5. So basically you're going to plug in each of these numbers 0, 1, 5 and 6. You're going to replace them for t into this s and you're going to get the positions. The positions are when t is equal to 0 the whole thing is 0. When t is equal to 1 this is 10.5. When t is equal to 5 this is negative 37.5. And when t is equal to 6 s is equal to negative 27. So this is our first answer. Find the position of the particle when t is equal to 6. Our second question is the time interval. So we need to find the, I mean, the distance traveled during this time interval. So the total distance traveled, you got to find the differences each time the particle changed direction. So this is 10.5, this is 10.5 minus 0 is 10.5. Now between 10 and negative 37, there is 48, 10.5 and negative 37.5, there's 48. And between negative 37.5 and negative 27, there is a 10.5 difference. And then all you gotta do is add all this together to get the total distance traveled, which comes out to be 69 feet, exactly. Just by adding this together, you get that is equal to 69 feet. So final answer for how much the particle moved. And right here is the final answer for the position when t is equal to 6, which is at negative 27. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.